And once beaten Tennessee was in town, Bama's first opponent this year with a winning record. The Tide up 3-0, but the Vols were on the attack in the first. That's Heath Schuler looking quite relaxed in the shotgun and lost it to Craig Faulkner for a school record 19th touchdown of the year, 7-3 Tennessee. It was 10-9 Tennessee in the third. Jay Barker, the handoff to Tarrant Lynch. Lynch loses it. Deron Jenkins is there, comes up with it, makes the big play, puts Tennessee in great field position. They eventually got it down to the two. Schuler trying to capitalize. Pitches it to James Stewart, and Stewart never gets control. Alabama recovers one of three fumbles for the Volunteers. Less than two minutes left in the game. Bama down by eight. Jay Barker to who else? David Palmer. What a catch. Gene Stallings a bit nervous because it's fourth and ten at the 18. Barker will come through with a tremendous 17-yard pass to Kevin Lee. The ball is on the one. Next play. Jay Barker showing some guts. Takes it himself over the top. Bama within two. 21 seconds left. In comes receiver David Palmer to play Q QB. You got it, Barker on the sidelines. And to no one's surprise, except to the Vols defense, Palmer takes it in for the option and the easy deuce. 17-17 tie, that's how it ended. The Tide's national championship hopes still alive. And with the tie, Jay Barker's win streak as a starter ends at 22. Heisman hopeful Heath Schuler disappeared in the second half. He was 0 for 8 with two interceptions and one for more. There's Florida's Danny Warfel taking it. And back and there's Auburn's Calvin Jackson with a 96 yard touchdown run to give Florida now the 10 to 7 lead late in the second quarter Auburn by one Eric Rett what a standout he is a 24 yard touchdown run 2014 Florida Rett 196 yards rushing on the day in the fourth Auburn by one Frank Sanders on the reverse the play even fooled the photographer nine yard touchdown run Auburn now by eight now, after Florida tied up the game at 35, Scott Etheridge to win it all with a 41-yard field goal with 121 left. And he does it for the Tigers as they pull it out, 38-35. Yeah, the biggest win for that guy, Terry Bowden, son of a Bobby. Auburn escaping despite giving up 560 yards of total offense. The Tigers sacked Danny Werfel four times, all in that second half. Auburn 7-0, but they're also on NCAA probation. How about Virginia at Florida State, the nation's top-ranked passer at work today, Charlie Ward? No, it's Simeon Willis, the nation's top-ranked passer. 13 tees, TDs already this season, but it's all you-know-who early. Ward hitting Tamarek Vanover in stride. Vanover all the way, 86-yard touchdown run. Seminoles up 7-0. In the second quarter, the Cavaliers say, hey, let's try blitzing on Ward. Yeah, right. Ward says, I got some room. I'll take it myself. Check out the dive in for the score. That put the Seminoles up 30 to nothing. Derek Brooks screaming for the shutout on third and goal. He would not get it as Willis hits Tyrone Davis in the end zone. Would you believe Davis is celebrating? I mean, Virginia got killed in this game, 40 to 14. He's got some nerve. W Ward 23 to thir of 31, 322 yards. Three touchdowns. In fact, Florida State has outscored nationally ranked opponents now 158 to 31 in this season. Getting carried away with all the excitement. How about starting fullback Ray Zellers for Notre Dame? This was easy. Irish up seven to nothing. Big game for Zellers. Up the middle. Some BYU secondary. Real tough. 15 yard gain there. Good game for Kevin McDougal. He has no problem finding Mike Miller with a tremendous 66 yard touchdown. McDougal, 10 of 16, 177 yards. Irish go on to crush the Cougars by the score of 45 to 20. Lee Becton, 122 yards and a touchdown. Notre Dame, 11 and 4 now against the WAC. They also had 535 yards of game in their history. And Joe Paterno, he knew that, didn't he? Yes, he did. Penn State driving second quarter, leading three zip. Kishana Carter with a run up the middle. He had 108 yards rushing in the first half. Then it's Kerry Collins hitting Bobby Engram. You only need one foot in bounds in college. He got it. Touchdown. Ten zip Nittany Lions. And yeah, those pom poms are waving. Wolverines and special teams, they'll say, put the pom poms down. Derek Alexander, 48 yard punt return. Nobody touches him. It's 10 7, and he shows the ball to the other team. Nice. After the Wolverines take the lead, Penn State fourth down from the one foot line. No. Carter is stuffed. They were stopped four times from inside the one. And then Tyrone Wheatley helps put it away with his great run all the way down to the Penn State six. Finally dragged down by Lee Rubin. Wheatley had a big day, 32 carries, 192 yards. Remember last week he only had 33 yards rushing against Michigan State. So the Wolverines are 4-2, and 2-1 two, two and one in the Big 11, and Penn State is 5-1, and 2-1 and one in the Big 11 or Big 10 plus 1. And another action in that conference with however many teams they have, Ohio State home against Michigan State. Second quarter, 7-3 Buckeyes. Senior quarterback Brett Powers in there. Not Hoying, but Powers. It's Joey Galloway in stride. One of nine catches on the day for Galloway, 14-3, Buckeyes. Fourth quarter, 21-13, Ohio State. But Michigan State did not quit. Jim Miller finds fullback Scott Green 
who makes the catch and splits the defense and guts it into the end zone. Michigan State decides to go for two to tie the game. My, uh, Mike Coleman or Mill Coleman makes the leaping catch to tie it on the pass from Miller. Miller was 31 out of 42 on the day. Late fourth quarter, just over a minute to go. Raymond Harris for Ohio State. Remember, this is a tie game, but not anymore. Seven yards out, he's in. Ohio State wins it 28-21. And by the way, Michigan State kicker Bill Stojanovic missed four field goals, and he stood up like a man and took responsibility after the game. He said, look, I blew four field goals. I lost the game for us, and he accepted the goat horn. Spunky, Kansas State was in Nebraska trying to remain unbeaten against the Cornhuskers who said, no way, we're pumped up for this. But you got to give Kansas State the nod. Program is smaller, stadium is smaller, they don't have the bucks, and they stay with the big boys. Chad May to a wide open Kevin Lockett. This made it 31-28. Huskers by three. Fourth quarter, Huskers by 10. True freshman Lawrence Phillips, probably from New Jersey. I don't know, that's where they get all the running backs. Anyway, he goes 46 yards. For the touchdown, Nebraska 45 to 28. K State's May, though, had a big day 488 yards passing. That's a big eight record for team uh, passing in a loss. The Wildcats are entertaining, but they have now lost one game. Elsewhere in Big Eight country, Oklahoma entertaining Colorado. Gary Gibbs Sooner is trailing 13 zip in the second. When Colorado adds more, Cordell Stewart pitching to halfback Lamont Warren. Actually, this is uh, not a pitch. This is a catch. That's right. He tosses it. Charles Johnson catches it in the end zone while on his knees. Now, driver's head is not a, an accredited course at OU, as you see by those highlights. Luckily, no one was hurt. That's why we can have fun with that. Somebody's hurt here. Will somebody please take the AstroTurf out of these stadiums? Look at Kale Gundy's head. You are injuring these athletes for no reason at all. Gundy was out for about 10 to 12 minutes. He did recover, and he's moving. He's going to be all right. He had a bad concussion. When we're stunned by UCLA in the second-to-last game of the regular season. There was no national crown, just bitterness for the Bruins. Well, today represented the Huskies' only chance for a Rose Bowl victory this season. First quarter, UCLA trailing 15-zip, and here they come. Wayne Cook hitting J.J. Stokes, and look how talented this guy is. Spinning away 95 yards for the score, a school record. UCLA back into it at 15-7. In the third, Cook and Stokes were not through. They hook up for the third time in the game. There you go. Here Stokes puts the Bruins up by three with his touchdown run. Stokes one more time. Nice move here. The quick slant. Stokes ties a school record with four touchdowns in this game, and the Bruins beat the Huskies 39-25. to Stokes with 10 touchdowns now in his last 15 quarters for the year. Stokes has 12 TD receptions, breaking the school record. The Bruins win their fourth straight, but with 81 yards rushing, the Huskies' Napoleon Kaufman has already run for over 2,000 yards in his career. How about Stanford and Arizona? A big Pac-10 clash going on right now with Stanford by three. He's got off to the great start against Baylor. QB Corey Pulling making the screen pass to Greg Hill, and Hill goes in for the score. The first of two touchdown runs for Hill. Texas A&M rolls 34 to 17. The Aggies' outstanding freshman running back Leland McElroy. But I mean, already up seven nothing. Tex Graham Strom's pass kicked, kicked yet. Mike Morton makes the pick, his first career interception. Now the ensuing NC drive, a little trickery by the heels. Watch it, Chris Watson taking the shovel pass on the fake field goal. Watch kicker Chris Pignetti carry out the fake perfectly. That led to another touchdown for the heels. Late second, Jason Stanisek to Bucky Brooks, wide open. 34-yard touchdown, Tar Heels win. 41 to three, Stanisek with two first half touchdown passes. He ran for another jump. Wisconsin QB, Darrell Bevel tossing it to Terrell Fletcher, who takes it in. A nice little swan dive. This is a 1.6 degree of difficulty. Extra point good. 21 zip. And Jim Coletto, the Boilermakers head man, is not happy. And the Badgers are, well, they're very happy. Third quarter, still 21 zip. Bevel fakes again. That's the Wisconsin quarterback. And tosses it 19 yards to Mark Montgomery. And they made it look easy. 28 zip. And uh, Jim Coletto is still not happy on the sidelines for Purdue. The Badgers 6 0 off to their best start since 1912. Darrell Bevel had to leave the game, by the way. In the second quarter, they sprained right hip, but the Badgers still won easily. The Cal Bears in Pac 10 played in uh, Pullman, Washington. They shouldn't have made the trip to play Washington State. Backup Washington State quarterback Sean Deeds takes the snap. The bomb to Darren Pointer makes the catch and gives the Cal D some pointers on the way to the end zone. 66 yard TD. Washington State once trailed seven nothing scored 34 in a row. Total yards 544 to 135. You get the nod there. The uh, Cougars easily over 21st ranked Cal. Pittsburgh at home trying to beat someone anyone. Syracuse late third quarter 14 13 Q's. Marvin Graves hooks up to Marvin Harrison 37 yards. And Syracuse up by eight. Graves 12 out of 18 on the day. But Pitt comes back in the fourth. Curtis Martin from three yards out. 
One of his 37 carries, he had 206 yards. Now, after Syracuse took the lead on a field goal, Curtis Martin is stopped on fourth and two. Pitt could have settled for the easy tie. Credit to Johnny Majors. They went for the win on, th on fourth and three, and uh, rather than settle for the tie, they took the loss. And, uh, but Syracuse uh, gets out of Pittsburgh with a three-point victory. Uh, maybe it's not a victory uh, after all. They were heavily favored in that game. Louisville trying to rebound from their first loss to the hands of Southern Miss. Early third quarter after Southern Miss fumbled, the Golden Eagles leading 24-9, to but Jeff Rome to Aaron Bailey, who bobbles it and makes the catch in the end zone. Louisville's down 24-15. Now in the fourth quarter, Anthony Shellman with a one-yard plunge in the end zone. And they overcome a big Southern Miss lead, does Louisville. They still only have one loss on the season for Howard Schnellenberger. Brougham's uh, three second half TD passes the key. Louisville six and one. Southern Miss now one and five. QB Steve Stenstrom, who had cut his hand earlier, finds Brian Manning behind the Desert Swarm defense. A 91 yard touchdown. Stanford with the early 10 0 lead. Late in the fourth quarter, Arizona forced Stenstrom to fumble with the score tied 24 24. Steve McLaughlin. Field goal is good. Arizona comes back from a 17-point deficit to win 27-24. Charles Levy, two TD runs for Arizona. Stanford blew a 17-0 lead. They had seven turnovers.